All right, class, so this is a Alex objective or Alex topic that is called using osmotic pressure to find molar mass. I think it's a really um, sort of basic common type of problem for us to look at. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a video here. Um, the, the question says we've got 390 milligrams, so 0 0.390 grams of an unknown protein. So when it says unknown protein, um, that's gonna sort of tell us about the Van Hoff factor. So that's gonna tell us the Van Hoff factor is one. I'll talk a little bit more about that once we get into it. Um, is dissolved in enough solvent to make five milliliters of solution. So this is the volume of my solution. And then it says the osmotic pressure is measured to be 0 0.0773 atmospheres at a certain temperature. So right away, um, I'm gonna be thinking pi equals MRT times I. So that I is our Van Hoff factor. And this pi that just represents my osmotic pressure. M is my molarity, R is my gas constant, 0 0.08206, and T is my temperature in Kelvin. And it's asking us to calculate the molar mass of this protein. So that's gonna be the grams per mole. So if I you know, might wanna put a box around that and write grams per mole equals question mark, that's what I'm looking for. We're already given the number of grams that we have in this, in this problem, so 390 milligrams or 0 0.390 grams. That's gonna be part of this. Um, but then I need to figure out the number of moles that are you know, in this solution. So the first thing that I would do is I would take this information and I would say, well, if my osmotic pressure is given, that's gonna equal the molarity, which we don't know yet because we don't know the number of moles, right? Times R, which is my gas constant, 0 0.08206, times the temperature, which is gonna be 298 Kelvin. So don't forget to change this 25 degrees Celsius into Kelvin. So 298 Kelvin, and then my Van Hoff factor is gonna equal one. So this little I that re represents the Van Hoff factor, that's gonna be the number of pieces that it, it breaks into. And um, I think I made a video about that, so if, if um, you're confused by that, I think I'll, I'll link that for you. But um, basically for this, because it's a protein, that protein is not gonna break into any ions. It's, it's gonna to stay together um, you know, as one molecule as it's floating around in the solution. So the Van Hoff factor is gonna be one. Um, but like I said, if you're confused by that, uh, I'll, I'll have some other resources for you to, to clear that up. So now using this, I can solve for the molarity. The molarity is gonna equal 0 0.00316. And that's moles of solute over liters of solution. So really important just to, to keep track of our units there. What does that value represent? Well, that represents the number of moles of that protein that are dissolved in every liter of the solution. And we're told that we have five milliliters for our solution. So if I take 0 0.00316 molarity and I multiply that by 0 0.005 liters, so converting five milliliters to liters, that's gonna tell me that I will have 1.58 times 10 to the minus fifth moles of solute that's dissolved in the solution in order to give this osmotic pressure that we're observing here, right? So this osmotic pressure, that comes from this number of moles of solute being dissolved in that five milliliters. So I can use this information to find my final answer. So grams per mole, if I'm looking for the number of grams in my solution over the number of moles, that's gonna be equal to 0 0.390 grams. So 390 milligrams, that's 0 0.390 grams, divided by this number of moles, 1.58 times 10 to the minus fifth moles that equals a really big number, 24,700 grams per mole. So this is a really big molar mass um, for this protein, but that sort of makes sense because proteins are, are really big. Um, and then Alex, of course, is gonna want us to put this into scientific notation. So 2.47 times 10 to the fourth, that's gonna be what I enter uh, into my little box up here. So um, yeah, hopefully that helps.